Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Audrey here. I know I have, I have not been able to post the video like I normally would. Life just got pretty busy when we hit fall, and we also uh, went to Colorado for a uh, really big trip. So um, we can't get busy. But in today's, I'm gonna bring you another Hoya video. It is my top five fall uh, favorites for Hoyas. I actually have all the Hoyas in front of me, so I'm gonna present them to you one by one. Let's start it. So this is Hoya um, Merrily Eye, I think that's the name of it. I'll put the name down on the screen so you guys can see it. But it's such a beautiful Hoya, it's my newest uh, aquarium. And as you can see, it actually grows pretty fast compared to other Hoyas. And leaf is just so beautiful, it has a really beautiful um, dark red tint to all the leaves when they get a little bit of stress. And it actually growing pretty good. This is the one shoot, it's already get pretty long. Let me adjust so you guys can see. So this has a really long growth point right there. And you can see there's a little bit growing. And it actually has another one right here. It's growing pretty good. So it's definitely a really, uh, not a slow growing Hoya for sure. And I just love those leaves, they're so beautiful. Next on my list is of course this Hoya Christiana Variegata. I just love how beautiful this Hoya is and the cluster kind of grows. Um, it has stopped growing a little bit. I think when we hit the hottest, uh, hottest temperature of the summer, the sun's going really strong. So it rests a little bit and um, hopefully it will start to grow again. Because I think this Hoya is one of those plants that actually grow through the whole winter. But look at this, so cute. There's a little pink on the top. And then it's just such a cute Hoyas, I love it. And this it's a fast growing too, so yeah. Next is this uh, Hoya Macrophalia Variegata. It's such a long stretched out hoya let me show you so right here is the patanga it actually flower for me um right before the season changes and i just found there's another patanga right on the top right here and the flower is beautiful oh actually there's another patanga right on the edge that's crazy um it's a beautiful flowers and I think it produces a lot of honey or sap. So I have ants all over this plant, uh, which was not fun, but the flower lasts pretty long and it holds up pretty good. And then this Toya has started to grow a little bit right before it actually produced Pertanko. I guess when they produce Pertanko, they stop growing. Uh, I had this whole year for a long time. I actually chopped this one several times and tried to grow them into a uh, um, cluster bush looking hoya, but somehow um, the chopped off cutting kind of died off on me or they stopped growing. So, all those in the pot, I think I have two or three salivals right in this pot right now. So, I don't really have a big hoya anymore. But the leaf is so beautiful. It has such a beautiful sun stress tint. It's kind of, um, um, it actually makes the veining on the leaves actually darker and the way beautiful than, you know, just the regular leaves. So yes, um, it's definitely one of my favorite Hoya for the fall, just for the flowers, yeah. Here's my Hoya Sunrise. Uh, it's actually been infested with the bug. I kind of neglecting of trading them uh, because I run off rubbing alcohol. So I need to get rubbing alcohol, start to trade them again on the media box. But um, overall, this Hoya looks pretty good. As you can see, the leaf is huge. This is probably the largest leaves I see on my Hoya Sunrise. And it also grow in a cluster kind of pattern, if that making sense. It's very, the leaves are in all directions and it just cluttered up pretty good. And it has a patango. 
right here you see there's Patongo as you can see the minibus kind of eat up all the the bot area and then I think this is another Patongo on the top if that is the one and it's also kind of stopped growing because of the minibus so yes I need to start to trade them again I thought I killed all of them but yes that's what happening when I stopped taking pay attention on them and check it on them regularly and then you know I could miss one or two and become a huge explosion on an infestation but overall I love this Hoya Sunrise it keeps growing pretty good and I don't see any problem with this one for sure and look at this leaf it's so beautiful Last one on my list it is Hoya Rotosa. It was um, not a popular Hoya. I don't think a lot of people talk about this Hoya. But I love, love, love those little patterns. Make me think of the woman's lipstick, if that's making sense. Or well, maybe not. But for me, it's every time I see it, it kind of makes me think of that. Um, it has been growing pretty good this year. You can see all the little branches coming out everywhere. I haven't seen flower on this one yet. Um, no, I don't even see a Patongo on any of those, but I do chop this Hoya back um, about a year ago or less than a year and try to grow the, into a cluster kind of Hoya and it did take off. There's growth points everywhere. There's another one and even here is another one. So it grows pretty good. And loves the sunspots. This is one of the Hoya, I think, when I put them into the windowsill. This one just started to grow like crazy, like a, uh, just like a grass, just growing everywhere and it's never stopped. I uh, love, love, love the hot sun and the hot weather, hot temperature for sure. And the leaves turning out pretty good. You see how big this one is? compared to the other leaves. So yes, definitely enjoy sun and just very beautiful Hoya. So those are my top five fall favorites Hoyas. They're all right here. I think I picked my favorites based on the leaf pattern. Some growing, some leaf pattern sort of show and then I just changed my favorites towards them, I guess. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a growing! Mm -hmm.